It is indeed a very, very strange world. We have a war in Europe. We have oil and gas supplies cut off from Russia to Europe. They are looking for supplies. The United States is looking for oil and gas. Canada, one of the richest countries in the world for oil and gas, they aren't coming to Canada because they know what Justin Trudeau is saying about oil and gas. He's putting on taxes. He's saying, we are fighting the war on climate change. We do not want to be in the business of oil and gas. And indeed, less and less we are in that business. So what a weird and serious situation. Canadians losing their jobs because we are shutting down at the instigation of Justin Trudeau, the oil and gas industry. We have people suffering in Europe, cold winter, suffering just to heat their houses, to cook. Oil and gas supplies cut off. We have the Prime Minister of Great Britain, Boris Johnson, seeking from Saudi Arabia more oil and gas supplies. Saudi Arabia, a country with terrible human rights, terrible record, just recently executed 81 men. We don't know why, but cut off their heads. So that's from Saudi Arabia. And, and we have the President of the United States going to Venezuela, which is a corrupt socialist dictatorship, saying, we need more of your oil and gas. Neither of those gentlemen are coming to Canada, again, as I say, because Trudeau has said, we are not in that business. So Trudeau can traipse around the world. He's getting more photo shoots. He is not sending Canadian planes over to pick up refugees from Ukraine. Instead, he's sending Canadian planes with him and all his officials over for another trip again for more photo shoots. The big problem with this, though, is not that it's just so illogical. The big problem is Canadians are putting up with it. We should be out there helping the world. We should be out there not only helping the world in oil and gas, bringing in refugees. We have a prime minister who says, forget the oil and gas and who says, we are doing all we can for Ukrainian refugees and not doing anything about it. It's hard for them to get into Canada. So the other problem about this is that Canadians are not saying anything about it. We should speak to your MPs. You should speak to your MPs and say, this is bad government, and we're fed up with it, and we need some changes now, because otherwise, we are letting down not only Canadians, we're letting down the world. As you can tell from what you just heard and saw, there are a lot of issues that have to be decided in Canada, and we need independent analysis of them. So, help us stay on the air. Subscribe, tell your friends, PayPal. And thanks for watching.